Shrimp and crab legs. Uh, one of my favorite experiences of being in a band was probably being stuck in this van with my five bandmates, and, uh, five of us all. Um, I think it was my first tour with the Browning, Miss the Apocalypse, and I could relocate and tear out the heart. That was probably one of the most memorable tours I've ever been with. All those dudes were really cool. Uh, it was actually my first real experience of being on a first national tour, and I learned a lot, um, not just through I mean, being on a national tour, but all the other vocalists in the band kind of taught me how to present myself better as a front band, and I think that's one of the most memorable things I've ever done. Uh, I just want to say shouts out to Honor Crest. You guys have carried the scene for a really long time. And it's what's up. Lucas Raw is my brother, my homeboy. And just good luck to you guys. It's it's been a minute. Despite what everyone says, everyone's gone to your shows, everyone dug it, you know? So it happens. And I'm glad that uh you guys are moving on to do bigger things. Good luck to you guys. Uh, one of my favorite albums was probably Spill Ink just because it was our freshman release with Rise Records and I'm really proud of that that we actually did get to that point in our careers. Um, as far as the songs, uh, the lyrics meant a lot to me. I got to write half the uh, lyrics for some of the songs. You know. The ones that stuck out to me the most were probably Spill Ink, uh, Glaciers, and Allergen just because those were probably the most personable to me. And Spill Ink was kind of like, it kind of builds off the our old uh, album called Metrics that we released with Indie Nola Records. And it kind of just uh, continued to tell the story of the bands and how our achievements have come. Pretty much thinking that, yeah, like, we got to do all the things we wanted, but there's still so much more out there that we got to experience, which we ended up getting to experience. And, uh, it's just all the... The whole album of Spill Ink is just stories and bits and pieces of how I felt at the time. And I, it's cool to always look back at it and just know that that's how I felt before all this happened. Hey Lucas, you suck and... Yeah. This one thing no, I'm kidding. And I'll always like... Oh, show it. Sick. <laughs> one of my favorite venues is actually probably Shantis. We're playing here tonight. Um, Zach actually gets to book here all the time, and we get to headline here and play. And actually, it's like more of a home spot town. Awesome sound system, awesome venue, awesome bar. Everyone always comes out because it's just one of those center points of Virginia Beach. And everyone always knows to come to Shaka's when it's good shows. Uh, what year did it was on? Was it 06? 05? 05 or 06? Five okay. years. They've been around five years. So I, five. Heard, I heard about them and we went to them at Relevant and I thought it was going to be a whole band and it wasn't. It was Borza, Chad, a bongo player, and a MacBook and I thought it was so bad and so horrible and I lost faith. And then I, a few, like, year, a year and a half, two years, they got a full band. At least. At least a year and a half, I think. And it was, it, it was definitely an improvement. And now it's like, oh my god, like, how did you start from that to this? That's so pretty cool. They're really good. Yeah, I was there for one day. I told to go home for 
hey, you guys want to play again? And then uh, Zach left the next day and then on our way back, uh, Jimmy decided to take a detour an hour and 45 minutes towards the Mexican border. <laughs> so we almost ended up in Mexico. That would have been a fun U-turn. Oh yeah, it's like three hours back on track. Sucks to see their ending already, but that's a good you know. one. They got what they wanted. They got a pretty good following. They showed four us in the cave in tonight. I'll be surprised if that's it. What's up? Yeah. Rest in peace, I'm impressed, I guess. Love it. Uh, as for last words of Honor Crest, I'd have to say that when we started in 2009, it all started off as a joke originally. I mean, it was just me and Chad, and we were playing shows off of a laptop for a couple of years. Um, it, after looking back at it, it really surprises me that you can go back and just see like that you started from nothing. And, Get to play shows, meet people, experience places, go travel. Think, well, for Honor Crest, things happen that I didn't expect to happen. Because, I mean, we got signed into Noel Records, which was sweet, but I didn't see good things happening from that. But then, actually, from that, that actually expanded or branched us out a lot, and we got picked up by a rise immediately after our release of uh, Metrics from Indian Miller Records. From there, um, I just want to say that anything is possible as long as you put hard work into it. It's really cheesy to say that, but you can really do whatever you want as long as you put hard work into it because I never expected us to get this far. I never expected to tour America. I never expected to be an international touring band. I never got to... I never thought I would be playing you know, it's like 50 shows in a row. It's just unbelievable how things can happen like that and how your life can just immediately flip upside down and that's how it is. And, I mean, th tonight I'm playing my last show with Honor Press and I'm really bittersweet about it. It's kind of an emotional hard point with myself, but I don't know. I'm proud of everything we've done. Um, Virginia Beach has been nothing but supportive. All of our friends and family here have been super supportive. It's unbelievable. Our our Virginia Beach scene is stronger than ever now. I feel like we helped open the door for other bands and I left my footprint and I'm really proud to say that.